Hello, I'm Kurt Browning, Pasco County Superintendent of Schools. The board approved the new policy related to the use of cell phones by students during the school day. I'll summarize the changes in a minute, but first I want to emphasize that it is essential that everyone is aware of the changes, understands the new rules, and knows what is expected of them. And when I say everyone, that means students, teachers, parents, and administrators. We recently sought input on this topic from students, teachers, and parents, and we received thousands of responses. People have very strong opinions on this topic. We have crafted some proposed policy changes that we believe can solve the issues we face while respecting everyone's rights. There were three issues the new policy is designed to address. The first is safety. We know that cell phones and other wireless communications devices can be extremely useful when used properly. Parents have made it clear that they want their students to have their cell phones at school in cases of an emergency. We also know that too far often they are used by students to post threats, rumors, or bullying behavior on social media. We have got to get this behavior under control. Mental health is second. There is a growing body of research that shows that constant screen time and exposure to social media has an adverse effect on mental health, especially for teens and children. Many parents told us that their students appear to be addicted to social media. We can't control what students do on their own time, but we need to ensure that school is a much needed break from screen time and social media. And finally, loss of instructional time. When students are engaged on their cell phones, scanning social media, sending texts, surfing the web, they are not engaged in schoolwork. We are determined to make the most of instructional time in our schools. We owe it to our students, our parents, and our teachers to devote as much time as we can to moving students forward academically. And to accomplish that goal, we have to protect instructional time. So how do we address these issues in a way that is fair to everyone? After seeking input from students, parents, teachers, and administrators, we sat down to propose some changes to our policy. What we proposed is slightly different in the early grades than it is in the higher grades. In short, we are providing greater flexibility and responsibility in the higher grades. We also are providing flexibility for teachers to have their students use wireless devices when it's appropriate. In the early grades, pre-K through fifth grade, students who bring wireless devices to school must put their devices on silent mode and out of view for the entire school day. Put it away in your backpack, out of sight in your desk, or if your teacher provides a cell phone storage area, store it in there until the end of the day. In the middle grades, grades six through eight, students must put their devices on silent mode and out of view for the entire school day, except during lunch period or during a time authorized by the classroom teacher for a specific instructional activity. In grades nine through 12, students must put their devices on silent mode and out of view for the entire school day, except during lunch period, in between class periods, or during a time authorized by the classroom teacher for a specific instructional activity. These rules also apply to extracurricular activities and co-curricular activities that occur before or after the school day. If you are at band practice or football practice, you don't need to be on your cell phone. Of course, we will work with families to make accommodations for students with disabilities or specific needs. We will continue to communicate the new policy and the new expectations as we approach the new school year. The rules will be enforced and we don't want this to be a surprise to anyone. We believe these rules take into account the needs of parents who want to know their students can call or text them in an emergency. And we believe it meets the needs of teachers who are frustrated with students who are constantly distracted and provides teachers with the flexibility to authorize the use of cell phones when appropriate. And we believe this policy is fair to students and will create an environment that is more conducive to focusing on what we're here for, and that is teaching and learning. As I said, we will continue to communicate about this new policy as the school year approaches. Thank you.